Hi, this is Father Jerry Orbach's SVD. Quaresma, quarenta, kumusta? Before anything else, roll call muna tayo. Roll call. So I invite you to bow your head and report to the Lord for duty. Yes, Lord, we are here and we are loving you and thanking you. Salamat po, Panginoon. Please raise your right hand and tell the Lord now, Thank you, Lord. We are still alive. Koresma, buhay pa kami. Two years, pandemic, nalampasan po namin lahat. Salamat po, Panginoon. Reporting, Lord. And Lord, sa mga mahal namin sa buhay na nauna na victims of COVID-19 or whatever, alam po namin, you are with them and they are with you now. And this is the whole meaning of Quaresma. To prepare and to, again, believe that after passion, death, and resurrection, we'll have the resurrection. Present Lord, I invite you all now again to raise also your left hand. Bow your head and close your eyes. Present Lord, ready to be sent. Ano man pong mission na gusto po niyong gawin ko po, Panginoon, I am here. And today, I come before you with humble and contrite heart. Mga kapatid, I invite you also now to Lagay yung kamay sa puso. Haya mong bindisyonan ka ng Panginoon. Akapin ka ni Mama Mary. Salamat po. At hinihingi rin po namin this moment. Please Lord, bindisyonan niyo ang aming mga mahal sa buhay. The people in our hearts. Living or dead, present or absent. Lalong-lalo na po yung may mga karamdaman, mga may sakit. Our loved ones who are sick. Lord, look into our hearts. We have loved ones who may mga pinagdadaanan emotionally. Those are filled with hopelessness or depressions. Those are filled with anger in patience. Heal us. At hinihingi po namin healing in our families. Mga away-away, mga tampuhan. Sana po, tulungan po niyo kami and help us to have humility. Pagpapakumbaba, yun po ang hinihingi namin, lalong-lalo na po ngayong Kwaresma. And dear Lord, Mama Mary, special request, healing po sa aming bayang Pilipinas. Lalong-lalo na po as you prepare for the elections. Lord, please give us good leaders. Yung pong mga handa talagang magsakripisyo. Please, Mama Mary, let goodness triumph. At hinihingi na rin namin po na itong mundo na minahal ng Diyos, binigay niyang sarili niyang anak, sana po huwag babalik sa mga gera, karahasan. We pray for Ukraine. We pray for peace in the world. Ito nga po, Lord, Matatapos pa lang ang COVID-19 war. Ito naman, Russia, Ukraine, war. At mabigat pa yung political war, lalong-lalo na po ngayong Mayo. Let your power be upon us. So mga kapatid, may I ask you one more? To fold your hands, bow your head. Ito po ay tanda ng pagpapakumbaba. Tanda ng pagiging 
mapakumbaba sa harap ng Panginoon. Ganito po tayo magdasal nung tayo maliliit na mga bata. So, ito rin ang tanda ng paghingi. Meron ka bang gustong hingiin sa ating Panginoon? Ask, for nothing is impossible with God. Ask like a child. Believe like a child. Salamat po, Panginoon. And everything, Lord, we do, itong munting sakripisyo, itong recollection, we offer it for your glory and honor. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. And Mama Mary, our mother, please pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother God, pray for us sinners. Now, the hour of our death. Amen and amen. So, mga kapatid, Quaresma, Quarenta, Kumusta? Quaresma, from the Latin word, Quadratissima, or Quarenta, Forty, and Kumusta? Como esta? Yun po ang greeting ko sa inyo ngayon. And more of the greeting of the heart. Alam po nyo, sa Korea, ang greeting po doon is, Anyo nga sa'yo? Anyo nga sa'yo? Nung una ko pong natinig yun, sabi ko, Ewan ko sa'yo. But it's a greeting of the heart. The literal meaning of Anyo nga sa'yo is, Are you at peace? Are you at peace? Ang ganda po, no? And that's my greeting tonight. Kumusta? Are you at peace? And you know, mga kapatid, the most important thing to remember is this. Journey. Naglalakbay tayo. Itong Lenten season, we journey. What is this journey all about? Journey to come closer to God's heart. Yun lang naman, eh. Lahat, kung isipin mo lahat ng ginagawa, preparasyon, etc. are nothing if you don't come closer to God. Ito pong pinaka journey ng buhay natin. Tumatanda na po tayo, o kami lang po siguro. The question is, am I closer to God's heart? Mas lumalapit ba ako sa puso ng Diyos? Ah, Marami po sa inyo, financial journey, career journey, wow! You've come a long way, baby. Pero baka naman ang layo mo pa sa puso ng Diyos. Layo nang narating mo. Pero baka yun na nga, you still malayo ka pa. Taas na ng lipad mo. Financially, popularity, etc., etc. Pero... High altitude, dami ka pang bad attitude. So this is my simple suggestion. Go back to God's heart. What does it mean? Okay, conversion. Sabi po nila, ang pinakamahabang journey sa bawat isang tao, ito po, the journey from the head to the heart. Ang dami po sa atin nandito lang eh, panay sa head, hindi bumababa sa heart. One of the things I realized sa pandemic, ito po. What matters is not the work of your hands. Success, pera, achievements, popularity. Okay, okay naman po yan. Pero how about your heart? Your hands are full Baka naman your heart is empty. Wala si Lord. Walang tao talagang nagmamahal sa iyo. At kukunti ang minamahal. This is invitation po ng Quaresma. Go back to your heart. And the problem the many of us is pag sa head, wala kang peace kasi ikaw ay overthinking. 
We pray to the Lord today, Lord, give me the grace. Huwag masyadong overthinking. Overthinking ka kapatid, before you know it, isip ka ng isip, hindi ka makatulog, hindi ka at peace. You worry about many things. So what is their prayer? No matter how valid yung mga iniisip po natin, please ask the Lord for the grace to trust Him more. Magtiwala po tayo kay Lord. Trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. If you don't know how to trust the Lord, you'll be worried about so many things. And when we know worry natin, <laughs> most of us, of course, worry about life. Sa pandemic, anyone, we realize we can die, any one of us. Naku, marami rin worried about their health, no? diabetes, arthritis, etc., etc. Yeah. Pero alam po nyo, may nagsabi nga po eh, what are you worried about? Remember, nobody will leave this world alive. Walang aalis sa mundo na ito na buhay. So what are you worried about? The more you worry, the more you hurry, to the cemetery. Sana po, we leave the pandemic with these lessons. Trust the Lord more. And the many things, wala naman tayong magawa. Number two, the journey, ng una po, head to the heart. Number two po, the journey from the hands to the heart. Panay tayo lahat, hands eh. Work, power, possessions, ganyan. And we forget the heart. Mga kapatid, please don't forget. Paalaala po ng Koresma. Anong silbi mo makuha mo ang buong mundo? Mawala mo naman yung kaluluwa. Mawala mo yung peace of mind. Ang yung character. Paalaala lang po ah. Remember, we are dust. To dust we will return. Abulang tayo. We are all passing by. Sayang po lahat ng lahat yan. Mulang kwenta. Remember, Alexander the Great, that great general, conqueror all over Europe. Ito nga po yung kwento nung he was sick. Alam niyang mamamatay na siya. Tinawag niya yung mga generals niya. Di kayo, sabi niya, I want you to promise me. When I die, three things. Promise me. When I die, ang magbubuhat ng aking kabaong, lahat ng mga doktor ko, yung mga nanggamot sa akin. Number two, sa dadaanan ng aking kabaong, ikalat nyo lahat ng pera, lahat ng mga gold na nakinuha ko, na samsam ko all throughout these years. Kalat nyo lang yan. And number three, yung kabaong ko sana, yung nakalabas yung kamay ko, dangling, dangling, empty. Three lessons. Why the doctors silang magbubuhat? To remind people, paalala sa mga tao na walang doktor na makaka pahaba ng buhay mo kung panahon mo na talaga. So stay healthy, take care of your health, and don't forget there is a God who decides when you will go. You cannot prolong your life if God says, it's time. No matter what you do, your money cannot help you at that moment. Wala. Number two, bakit ikakalat yung mga gold, yung mga lahat na nakuha niyang ari-arian, riches? To remind people, walang kakwenta-kwenta yung pinaggagawa ko all my life. Useless. My whole life was spent getting all this money and well then useless. Wala. And number three, why yung kamay niya na nakabukas like dangling empty to remind people that we carry nothing with us when we leave this world. Wala po. Ay madadala. So mga kapatid, yung po ang paalaala from the work of your hands Itong panarangin ko po. May God bless the work of your hands. Sure, go ahead. Okay po yan. But, 
May God also increase the love in your heart. Somebody said, when God raises your standard of living, you also must raise your standard of giving. Anong iiwanan natin sa mundo? You know, I had so many funeral masses during the pandemic, Zoom, Zoom masses. And I asked them what they remember about their loved ones. Karamihan po, you know what? People remember yung kindness. Mabait siya, matulungin, mapakum... People forget how rich you are, how powerful you are, how handsome, how good-looking you are. How pop- Wala po yan. People forget that. But people never forget kindness, generosity. Specialize on kindness. Today, just bow your head and think of this simple, when the time comes for you to go, what will people remember about you? Sisters and brothers, today, let us ask the Lord a simple request. Lord, give us the grace, sana po, to live the rest of our lives, the best of our lives. Sana po ang buhay namin hindi lang successful, yung comfortable ng buhay. More than that, sana po meaningful, meaningful. You are in our hearts. There are people in our hearts, and we have loved, we have shared our blessings. Yes, Lord, ito pong hinihingi namin. Remind us again, Lord, that life is not just about making money or making a name. It's about making a difference. Make a difference. Sana po ang buhay namin hindi, hindi mababaw, hindi lang pakitang tao Pasikat, payabang. Lord, like Mama Mary, may we have more quiet, simple, and loving hearts, obedient to you. And one more grace, hinihingi po namin, give us the grace to die a holy death. Pagdating po ng panahon that you will call us, Sana Lord, we'll be ready. Sana po, we'll be in the state of grace. Napatawad na kami, nakapagpatawad na po kami. At sana po, nagawa na namin ang aming misyon. We shared our faith to people. We shared your love. And we shared our blessings. Salamat po, Panginoon. Mama Mary and Saint Joseph, please pray for us to live meaningful lives and to die a holy death. Sisters and brothers, pray to Saint Joseph. He is the patron of departing souls. Please be with us at that moment, Saint Joseph. Fetch us and accompany us straight to God's heart. Salamat po, St. Joseph. Amen, Lord. Amen. And think about it. What will you leave behind? Anong iwanan mo? What will people remember about you? Don't, don't even talk about people yet. What will your children, your grandchildren remember about you? Your helpers, your household help. These are the most important things. Remember your dust. To dust, you will return. And conversion is in the heart. You read in Hosea chapter 6, verse 1. 
Come to me. Come, let us return to the Lord. Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let sin keep us apart. It's about coming home. Come home. Speaking of coming home, alam po nyo, about a month ago, you know, we lost our dog, Bruce. <laughs> Uh, small uh, uh, retriever nakalabas po sa gate hindi namin namalayan so three days wala po siya you know all those three days I was praying I believe sabi ko Lord I believe nothing is impossible against hope I know babalik siya so inannounce namin sa social media ganun nawawala and guess what After three days, mayroong nag-message na may aso raw na nakita sila. Tinignan namin, we went right away. There he was. The prodigal dog has come home. Iyon po eh. Imagine he crossed E-Rod, tapos nandiyan lang pala. Three days. Wala siya kasing dog tag. Identity. So, what do we learn from here? You don't give up. God does not give up on us. Kaya tayo nawawala. This is the most important thing. Mahal tayo ng Panginoon. Mga kapatid, may dalawang bagay lang po. I'd like to share with you spirituality. To be strong. Dalawa po. Number one, ito po. Kapalmox to the Lord. Kapalmox. Yang hiyana. Stick face. So, so, so ashamed, oh Lord, but still, I believe you love me. This is the conversion, the mindset, to believe and keep on believing that you are loved. I dare say, it is better to be presumptuous of God's love than to doubt God's love. Marami po siguro sa atin, when we go to trial, sickness, you lose a loved one, bankruptcy, death in the family, etc. You begin to doubt God's love. It's okay to question for a while, but don't stay on. Ikot-ikot ka lang sa doubt. Because when you doubt, you'll begin to doubt everything. Just say, Lord, I trust you. Jesus, I trust in you, and Mama Mary, I love you. This moment now, may again invite you. Is there anything bothering you right now? It could be a difficulty you're going through. Kapatid, maybe you have a sickness, hindi mo maintindihan, or somebody is sick in the family. Maybe finances. Wala ng trabaho. Maybe you are in a big sin. Never doubt. Don't doubt God's love for you. God so loved you and me. He gave us His only begotten Son. So this is the first thing. The mindset of believing that God loves you no matter what. No matter what. No conditions. I believe my dog will return. I believe in God's providence, He will find a way. God will make a way. Please believe. And please, believe that those you love, love you. Don't doubt that. Better to believe that they love you, huh? Yes, Lord. This is the Lord asking us. Para yung kwaresma natin, hindi yung gagawa lang tayo mga practices, tapos tapos na. No. How about a conversion of the mind, the mindset, uh, the heart, you know? Ang pananaw natin. That's the first one. Ako po, all I can say is, hindi na, hindi na po ako siguro nagpare at hindi na po ako pare kung hindi po ako naniniwala na mahal pa rin ako ng Diyos. That's all I believe in. I trust and I believe I will hold on. That's why the second thing is kapit to the Lord. 
Kapal moks, kapit po ko. Kakapit po ako, Panginoon, no matter what. And also, anong po nyo, si Mama Mary. My prayer to Mama Mary is very simple. I pray like a child, desperate. I pray to Mama Mary and say, Mama Mary, tulungan po nyo ako. Tulungan po nyo ako makarating sa langit. Make exceptions. I know you will find a way. The simple, almost desperate faith of a little child. Yeah, God will make a way and God makes all things beautiful in His time. So change of mindset and bad habits. Yan, ang ini. Kasi from the mindset, nagiging habits eh. Okay. May I invite you again to bow your head. Put your right hand over your heart. Close your eyes. Anong mga ugali na pwede mo nang sanang ialay kay Lord? Tell the Lord now, Lord, tulungan po niyo kung baguhin ko na yung mga ugali kong ito. I need you. There are knots that I cannot untangle. Please set me free from these prisons. Tawad po sa aming kayabangan. Right. Katapangan. Kasungitan. Selfishness. Being judgmental. We compare ourselves with others. Oh Lord, marami po. We still have so much to learn about humility and true loving. Change my heart, O oh God. Make it true. And while still in this subject, could you now also offer to the Lord yung mga taong hindi mo pa napapatawad? Now na. As God has forgiven you and me so many times, let us forgive. And let us also ask for forgiveness sa mga taong nasaktan, nasasaktan natin. Stop hurting people. Life is short. Don't forget that. Sayang, sayang. If we always are in negative thoughts, negative habits, negative attitudes. So, we pray for the cleansing of the Holy Spirit. So, my dear friends, change our hearts, O oh God. Come back to me with all your heart. And by the way, mga kapatid, uh, you know, there's a little story. Alam niyo ba yung kwento ng yung hari, the king who had four wives. Wow. Oh, baka may alam kayo may, may apat na asawa o oh, mga marites. Daan muna, daan muna. Okay. Anyway, this story is that uh, he was dying. Yeah man, but old. So, tinawag niya yung the fourth wife. Yung latest. Oh, the latest uh, marites. Pinakamaganda at pinakamamahal niya lahat ng attention. Ang tinanong na niya, mamamatay na ako. Will you die with me? Oh, sabi ng fourth wife, no, no, I will not die with you, sabi niya. Sure, I love you, but I will not die with you. Ganun, nasaktan siya. Called the third wife. Sabi niya, oh, I will die as soon, so will you die with me? Sabi ng third wife, yeah, I love you, but no, I will not die with you. And I would even remarry after you are gone. Wow, masakit na naman. Nasaktan siya. The third wife, uh, for the second wife, sinabi niya, Ikaw, I'm about to die. Will you die with me? And the second wife said, You know, I love you. I will be there for you till you die. I'll take care of the funeral, lahat, but I will not go with you. Painful. Finally, he called the first, the very first wife niya, the original. Yung palagi niyang nakakalimutan, hardly, you know, whom he has neglected already. 
And he asked the question, will you die with me? At ang sabi niya, yes, I love you. I will die with you. I will be with you. Well, the story is about not just the king. It's about us. Ano yung mga four loves natin? Our four loves are, the first love natin, karamin sa atin, we love our bodies. Mahal natin, katawan natin, kung ano-ano ginagawa natin. Palaging nakatutok tayo dyan. It's all about my pleasure, what I want, my ari-arian. But your body will not go with you when you die. Wala na. The third wife is your possessions. Mahal natin. How much time you spend getting all these possessions, amassing all the wealth, but you cannot take with you your possessions. Iiwan mo yan, uh, ipapamigay lang sa iba yan siguro, etc. You will not own them. Third, love natin, our family and our friends. Yes, we love them. They love us. But they will only be there up to the burial and memories of God. But they will not accompany us to death and beyond. And finally, the first wife, that's your soul, yung kaluluan natin. Madalas, binabaliwala lang natin. We don't care for our souls. We don't take care of our soul. But it's only our soul that will go with us when we die. That will always be with the evidence. So take care of your soul. That's what Koresma is all about. Take time. So what do we do? Well, care of the soul is very simple for all of us. CDA. Okay. The most basic care for the soul is the commandments. Follow the Ten Commandments. And your soul is strong and will live on. And you're pure. Number two, if you care for, you want to care for your soul, the detachment. Detachment. Madalas po ang kaluluwa natin, hindi malaya kasi ang daming attachment, ang daming addictions. That's why, itong koresma, Fasting and abstinence. So, prayer. Fasting and abstinence. Alam na po niyo yan. So, as I speak, ano ang hindi mo mag give up, give up? That's imprisoning your soul. What is it? Anong mga attachments Ano mga addictions? Could you please bow your head again and just tell the Lord, Lord, help me. Tulong po. Are there relationships that is hurting me? That are hurting your soul? Cleanse my heart, O God. Make it simple. Make it pure. Heal our hearts. Heal our wounds. And it brings us to the last atonement. Have mercy on me, O God. I am a sinner. And I love you. I need you, Lord. Kailangan kita. Kailangan ka namin. We need you. Atonement is at one meant To be one with God. Pray. Um, pray with the heart. Kasi ang dami pong dasal ng dasal, pareho pa rin ang asal. Bakit? Hindi po kasi tayo nakikinig. You're just lecturing God when you pray. You're telling him, I want this, 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 this. Are you listening? 
listen with the heart. Look with the heart. Speak with the heart. Back to the heart po. And I hope you listen also. Atonement, atonement, atonement is being one also with your loved ones. And being one with people who are suffering. Dami po. Everything that's happening in this world, itong nangyayari sa bayan natin, nangyayari sa Ukraine, we are one. It's not as if wala na tayong pakialam. Hindi po. Solidarity. Very important po. So, mga kapatid, ano pong gagawin natin? So, together, yung sinasabi ko palagi yung baguets, be balik, Panginoon. Balik, Panginoon. Ikaw, kumpisal. Kung ikaw may kasalanan, wala si Lord sa puso, paano ka balik, Panginoon? Kumpisal. Make a good confession, please. About two weeks ago, a young priest came out of the blue, called me, Father, can I have hear my confession? Yes, I do. Oh, as I listened to this young priest, so humble, so honest, and so sincere because he wants to be at peace with God. Tama po yun. God loves us. This moment, right now, just say, Lord, I'm sorry. Patawad po. Patawad po, Panginoon, sa kayabangan namin sa inyo. Madalas po, hindi kami nagdadasal, hindi po kami nakikinig. Mayabang po kami sa inyo, Panginoon. Madalas, we disobey you, we sin against you. Patawad po sa kayabangan namin sa isa't isa. Madalas po, Panginoon, we hurt one another. We do not care, we do not really share. And finally, kapatid, patawarin mo rin ang iyong sarili. Mahal ka ng Panginoon. Kapit to ko. Kapal mo, Kisto Dalo. Balik, Panginoon. And, number two, gawin po natin din yung A, alis galit. Oh, huwag ka nang magdala ng mabigat sa puso mo. Useless. Forgive na lang as the Lord has forgiven you. Life is short. Nagbuhat-buhat mo palagi yung bagahe mo ng mga hindi ka makapagpatawad. Come Holy Spirit, help me to forgive. Okay? Alice got it. Okay na yun? And forgiveness. Meron ka pa bang mga hindi ma-forgive? Sabihin mo na lang, Lord, bahala ka na sa Kanya. Bahala ka na sa kanila. At pag sinabi mong bahala ka na, Lord, bahala ka na, huwag mong sabihin na, o oh, sige Lord, kung gusto mo, baka gusto mong ma-stroke na siya o ma-bankrupt sila, mamatay. Ay, no, bahala na si Lord, huwag ka na magbigay ng suggestion. Let go. Let God. And you are free. And, you know, there was a time when there were people who were, who were attacking me and all that. Napakasakit po. Yung behind your back, chinichis miskata. Painful. It's very painful. Ang sakit po. But I stayed with the Lord. I could have fought back. No, I said, the Lord was telling me, stay in my heart. And this is why I remembered my papa and mama. Na kung kayo sinasaktan, uh, you know, and you're, you're persecuted. Mama said, Merito yan, anak. Merito. It is your merit when people hate you, insult you, or persecute you, and talk evil against you. It's your merit. It is their demerit. Think about that. Don't go down to their level. Kasi kung dahil sa ginawa nila, bababa ka na rin doon, makikipaglaban ka. You've lost your dignity as a child of God. Endure. Merit. So, another thing po is balik Panginoon, alis galit, gawa mabuti. Alright, good works. 
especially this time, share. Tignan nga nyo yung mga kabinet nyo dyan, mga ang dami. Hindi <laughs> yung ginagamit. Sa totoo lang po, there's so much we can share. Kahit mahirap po ang buhay mo, maraming mas mahirap pa sa iyo. Anything. And it's not the amount, it's not the quantity, but the quality of giving. Okay? Another one is tanggal bisyo. Hmm. Yung detachment na yan. Alam na natin yan. I like to suggest one day, one day of the week, mag-decide ka ha, day of prayer and fasting. Every day, uh, on that day, let's say Thursday, you're fasting and praying more. Fasting maybe, uh, you don't eat meat, maganon, or you don't eat sweets, maganon, something like that. But you also you can say, Lord, or today, on that day, I will not shout. <laughs> hindi ako sisigaw, hindi ako mag, uh, magmumura. I will not think negatively. Fasting. Good works is, I'll say good things about people. I will fast from too much gadgets. So, yun po, gawa mabuti. And E, express your love. Express your love to people, especially this semana, at this Quaresma. Everything we do, itong recollection na ito, yung mga stations of the cross, yung mga bisita iglesia, and all that fasting are all expressions of love. Hindi yan obligasyon lang, hindi lang dahil sa tradisyon from the bottom of my heart. And express your love to people around you, please. Now is the time. Do not postpone that. Because you'll never know. Sana wala kang regrets na nagkulang ka ng pabamahal kung mayroon mang isang mawala sa buhay mo. Ha? Express your love. Tanggal bisyo. And finally, S, sacrifice. So what can you sacrifice? Sacrifice, tatang, sa po po, sacrifice with a smile. <laughs> Kung ikaw ay mag sacrifice at ang tapang ang sugit mo, huwag ka na lang. Sacrifice with a smile and in secret. Kung gagawa tayong kabutihan, kailangan pa ba i-broadcast yan? Kailangan pa bang malaman ng iba? Do this, Lord, may project po ako. Tayong dalawa lang ang nakakaalam. And when you do that, you experience a joy which the world cannot give nor take away. So, bagets po tayo. Balik Panginoon, confession, alis galit, alam nyo na yan. Gawa mabuti, good works, almsgiving, alam nyo na yan. Express your love to God, express your love to people, and especially to the poor, in thought, in word, and in deed. And sacrificio, with a smile and in secret. So dear friends, where does it all end? It all ends on Easter. We're not a Good Friday people, we are an Easter people. So, isa pang last ko pong hingi na mindset na makonvert sana. Sana, ito po, very simple. All this pandemic, I've been going to online masses with only one message. Joy and hope. Isn't that what Easter is all about? Oh, so, alam niyo ba yung pighati? <laughs> yeah, let me end with that. Pighati, naku, malalim yan na nasalita yung mga pighati ng puso. The pains, the heartaches, the problems, maramdamin po yan, madrang pighati. Eh, I found out yung pighati, translate that to English, pighati in English pala is pork chop. <laughs> pork chop, pighati, pork chop. What am I saying here? Please, from a pighati mindset na napakabigat, go to a pork chop. I-pork chop mo lang yan. Okay, man. The joy of the Lord, ay, pork chop mo lang yan. The Lord is with you. So, Easter na yan. Don't stay in that pighati 
mindset. Pighati mode. We are a pork chop mode. Because there is a resurrection. We will meet again our loved ones who have died, especially this COVID-19. There, see you in heaven. And their message of our loved ones is this. Those who have died, they want to tell us, oh, don't worry, I'm now here in heaven. I'm with the Lord. Heaven is real. Heaven is so beautiful. No eye has seen, no ear has heard. No mind has imagined the beauty that awaits those who love God. There is heaven. And they would like to tell us, dito in heaven, it's so peaceful. Dito wala mga basher, walang mayayabang, masusungit, matatapang, wala, mga marites, wala, wala sila dito. Yeah? So be careful. Try your best to go to heaven. That's the first message. Number two, our loved ones in heaven would like to tell us all, Thank you. Salamat ah. Salamat sa pagmamahal. Salamat sa lahat. Thank you so much. Thanks for the memories. Thanks for loving me still. Thank you. And I'm sure they would like to tell us all too. Especially the families. Love one another. Love one another. Magtulungan kayo. Magpatawaran. Magpakumbaba. And finally, their message for all of us. See you in heaven. See you in heaven. You better be good so that you too will go to heaven. There is hope. There is joy. Sisters and brothers, love one another. Cannot forget my Auntie Betty. You know, our Uncle Ben died there in Canada. And then on the 40th day, Cha Betty shared with me a dream. Sabi niya, I dreamt of your uncle. While we were dancing, sabi niya, he looked so good in his prime in tuxedo and they were dancing thou so happy. And then the time came in the dream when un- your uncle said, Betty, I have to go now. And uncle was going back and then there was a brick wall and the brick wall behind him opened and uh, Joban was waving goodbye, smiling. And Cha Betty, when she looked into the to the wall, she saw Uncle Ben so happy, smiling, and said to Betty, I have never seen a place so beautiful, so peaceful. Till we meet again, this is our prayer. So dear friends, in the meantime, Quaresma, Quarenta, Kumusta ka na? I invite you again to bow your head and roll call once again. Raise your hand. And say again, Lord, I'm here. Salamat po. I will follow you. I love you, Lord. Thank you. Raise also your left hand, Lord. Present, ready to be sent. Ano pa man hong mission para sa akin? Lord, grant me the grace that after living a meaningful life, I too will go to heaven. But there are no more tears, no more pain, no more sorrow, no more problems, no more COVID, no more politics, no more wars. Where our loved ones wait for us. Where Mama Mary is waiting for us all. And Almighty God bless you all. Bless us all. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. Mama Mary loves you. Pray for me. I pray for you too. Amen and Amen.